we'll have a look at um, one of the new features in Tableau 10.2. The Tableau 10.2 beta was released this morning and I thought it would be a good idea to have a look at some of the new features. Um, one of the new features I immediately saw, and um, this is if we go to about Tableau, we can see that on, on the pre-release, so I'm on a beta 10.2. Um, um, one of the new features I saw was this little refresh button, uh, which means you can hit this and instantly your data is being refreshed. Um, I hadn't seen that in 10.1, in so that's an, a nice new feature. Um, however, the main reason why I'm making this video is that I wanted to show you uh, one of the new features I'm really excited about, and that's the join calculation. You can now, if you join uh, files, even within a cross-database join, you can set a join calculation, so you can also join on calculations. Um, I will demonstrate that with an example I um, encountered at a client um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, we had uh, mobile phone contracts. And they had in the database, we had a start date and an end date. Um, and they wanted to visualize over time uh, and see um, which contracts were about to end, um, what their prices were. And there were loads of more information, but this is just dummy data. However, if we want to visualize this in Tableau, we have two date fields, a start date and an end date. Um, we can't do that. So if we go to sheet one, I can build this out and I can say start date by contract, even if I make this, for example, an exact date, it will only show me the start date. Um, so what we need to do is we need to um, create an instance of date or day for each uh, day the contract was uh, running. So as you can see, we have a start date and an end date. Um, so if we, uh, we need to add in a data source that has all the dates. Um, so I created that. I created a, an Excel file that has its start date the 1st of Jan 2013 and runs all the way till the end of 2016. Um, these are about um, just under 1500 rows. So we will join 1500 rows to each contract. So basically what we'll do is a product join. Um, and this is now really easy uh, within Tableau 10.2 because if we, uh, this is our second um, data source of so dates. 2.csv. If we join that in, we can now see that we also have a full outer option. We're not going to use that, but um, it's um, it's there now. <laughs> we can finally use full outer joins in uh, um, in um, Excel or CSV based files. So in our data set, um, our contracts data set, we need to um, create um, a product join. So as you could see in my dates file, I have an ID field. An ID field is one. Um, so if we do the same for our uh, contract, so we create a join calculation, now you can see a calculated field pops up. So you can now add calculations similar to you can do what you can do in, in, in the normal data view. So we only need a 1, so we create a calculated field that has a 1. Hit OK, and now you can see we have a 1, and we can join that 1. So as you can see, 1 was not in my data set, I just built it as a calculation, and we join that with ID. So as you can see now, we have contract A, start date, end date, and it has the 1st of Jan. Uh, same for B, and if we go down, you can see um, it goes all the way down to, um, to that particular, uh, for each year, for each contract, each date. So if we now go to sheet 1, and we show the number of records, you can see we have loads more number of records. Now we have almost 12,000 rows of data. Um, if you then visualize this, so if you, for example, now we have a date field, so dates, uh, let's make this um, an exact date, and put our contracts onto rows. Mm -hmm. um, this is not what we want, because as you can see, now every contract starts um, on the 1st of January, and they all end at the uh, 31st of um, um, December. So we need to create a calculation, and that calculation is basically if the start date is less or equal than our date, this is by the way a boolean, and our end date is more or equal than our date, then return um, true. So we just call this uh, date filter, hit apply. And if we use date filter on the filters and set it to true, 
you can see now it's been filtered out. So you can see now where our contract starts. Our contract A started on the 20th of November and it finished on the 20th of um, uh, December. So now you can see it's filtered down. So now you can easily see which contracts are about to, start, uh, about to end. Um, this was very useful for the client. Unfortunately, we didn't have um, 10.2. So you could also just create, for example, a reference line. A reference line, and we're going to create a new parameter on, um, let's do it from a range, and we set it from the field date. Um, let's um, make it just a date. Hit OK. And now you can, for example, use the parameter to shift the dates around. Um, so you can easily see if you have, for, for example, a date and you want to see which contracts uh, were still running on that particular date, and uh, then you can use that. Um, so yeah, that's one of the new features in 10.2 beta. Um, I think it will be released somewhere early 2017. Um, so yeah, this is the cross-join calculation. Uh, previously, you could create that one, so the, the product join, if you use custom SQL, but now you can use it everywhere in each data source. So that's, that's a great new feature. Also, one of the new features I saw um, is export to CSV. So now we kind of created a new file. So we created, uh, or a new data source. So we created contracts and our dates. So if we now go to um, data and then to our data source, we can now export our whole data source to CSV, which means if you join loads of tables, you could just export them to a CSV file and then use them again. So if you have loads of joins going on, you can just export them. So if we hit export, and call this um, export to hit save and then if we go into the saved file we can now see our whole data source has been exported including our uh, date filter um, so i hope that was useful i'm really looking forward to uh, some more of the new features in 10.2 and thanks for watching